Okay, so there are still some things to do to this expedition build. Uh, obviously, we've got to add the winch and the lights to this. And there are some little uh, tweaks to do to the inside of the cabbing as well. But today, this is when I'm going to be looking at my top five modifications that I've made so far to this Alucab canopy cab. This first modification is when Julie and I had a little look at this, uh, we looked at where we wanted to put the fridge, yes, but I also wanted to have the opportunity to use the, the fridge as an, another great design idea and that is I'm able to actually sit on the fridge and I can work up there <laughs> when Julie's outside doing all that lovely sunbathing and swimming by the pool and I'm doing some work I'm going to be sitting up on here on this fridge and I can work in some nice sheltered area away from the sun uh, and have a fantastic time editing as I'm going to be doing some YouTube videos as we go around the world it's going to be absolutely amazing and this is where I'll be sitting to do some editing so that's the first one in this model vacation this is what it's like when I can sit on that fridge and have this fantastic workspace now can you picture it yes eat yes work but look at this fantastic almost surround viewing point 360 almost absolutely stunning and amazing what an amazing place to work so fantastic idea really chuffed to beans with this initial idea and probably my top mod that we've made to this this vehicle so far okay um time for the second one and you might have seen a video on this but this is probably my uh, number two on the list um, and you, you might be aware, I'm probably even guessing of what this is. This essentially is the uh, modified uh, router that we use for Starlink. So we can get Wi-Fi anywhere around the world because we can now uh, be able to plug this into the actual 12 volt system and we can make sure that it, it doesn't pull too many uh, amps away from uh, the power of the, the inverter and it'll be just fantastic for us to use to go wherever we are using Starlink. So my sort of second modification that I've made which uh, to me is absolutely amazing is this Starlink uh, conversion here. Okay so we're moving to number three on the list and this is a strange one because this modification is that I picked up this uh, tablet which I've had for about nine years now and uh, was, I, I had it in a drawer, I hardly touched it, hardly used it uh, for a few years and I thought uh, I wonder if I can adapt this to, to use within the canopy camper and lo and behold absolutely has worked out brilliantly so I can actually access a number of different apps that I use based on what we do with the vehicle so as you can see what I'm looking at at the moment is the information that's coming from the solar charge controller uh, and I can monitor the volts that's coming through, the amps that's coming through, the charge that's going to go to the actual battery itself. So I can monitor that from this device because many of the devices I've tried to make as much Bluetooth in here as possible. I can also access the temperatures of the fridge. The fridge is a dual zone, so I'm able to actually control the fridge, uh, each side of the, the fridge itself into the right temperature, depending on whether I want to, it to be chilled or frozen. I've also got information from the shunt as well and this is giving Bluetooth information to this device so I'm actually able to recognize how many amps are pulled from the, the actual battery uh, and depending on the usage. So absolutely delighted with this modification. I pulled it from a cupboard, uh, actually wired it into um, uh, uh, a fuse box behind here, behind this fuse panel, so I'm able to have this constantly on, so I don't have to worry, and it only pulls a small amount of amps. So very happy with this modification, absolutely delighted. I'm able to monitor the battery, monitor the fridge, monitor the charge, absolutely de delighted with this modification. And of course, some of these Bluetooth options that are available on your phone as well but it means that wherever we are we can just double check when we're in the canopy about what's happening with different elements of the canopy itself okay this is an interesting one so what I've got here is a vent that's coming out from inside the canopy and this vent is actually good air good hot air that I can use as a, a, an excellent alternative to heating up a larger area. So if you remember in, from a previous uh, video, what we've got here on the canopy is this awning that goes all the way around, 270 awning that goes all the way around and is able to have awning walls. Now if that comes all the way around the vehicle, because now I've got this vent here of hot air, I can actually heat up the area inside that awning tent. 
and so that becomes a warmer living space absolutely amazing great modification and absolutely love it but just as an addition for it because I've done uh, a little bit of a diversion it is also possible that the diesel heater that's going to be used in this to warm up that awning area uh, I've actually got vents here and this vent will actually put hot air into this area as well so at the top is a diverter I can actually control if I want hot air inside this canopy or if I want hot air to go outside to the awning tent or if I want to split it between the two I have this option to be able to put hot air where we need hot air this is an intake so it pulls in cold air and blows out the hot air as well so I'm really delighted with this modification absolutely brilliant okay so uh the the fifth modification that i'm going to show you today uh, is actually much harder to show you because it's hidden and that is it's hidden behind this panel here and it's actually linked to the diesel heater it's underneath there and it's linked to the diesel heater because it's a heat exchanger and that means that i'm able to get hot water from here out of the actual tank that's hidden behind this panel which is pumped around the diesel heater and goes back into the tank and is pumped into this uh, external tap here that I can use to use for a shower for this shower cube that we have up here so that's my number five modification that I'm absolutely thrilled with hot <laughs> showers but of course this could be used for a number of different purposes because now it's on a bit of a hose we can put it inside or even have it out towards the actual awning tent as well so a great modification absolutely delighted with number five there's the top five modifications so far i could talk about many other things as well you can you know, everybody's got a diesel heater not sure many people have got a 12 volt oven but these are just additions to this uh, obviously filtered water is fantastic uh, it, but there are so many other modifications that uh, I've already started looking at. Uh, we'll be updating onto the vehicle. And next time, perhaps I'll give you another top five uh, or the next five of modifications that's going on in this vehicle. So, top five modifications of this Anubi Camp, Canopy Campus so far. <music>